It's no secret on pay-per-click that you can click on your competitors' ads and, well, likewise, your competitors can click on your ads. And possibly, uh, there are people out there running automated scripts that are clicking on your ads, driving up costs, etc. And it can be very costly. Now, there are software-as-a-service solutions out there that identify clicks or people that are notoriously clicking on your ads. And um, it's been a few years since I've looked at them, but what I believe they do is they look at the IP address where the clicks are coming from and see a bunch of clicks uh, repeatedly, either in a you know a specified period of time where they're grouped together, uh, or a bunch of clicks that kind of happen like consistently, day over day, or maybe you know pattern based or something like that. Ultimately, uh, a bunch of clicks coming from the same person or the same user, no matter how they identify them, is going to be a natural. And those programs that you pay for ultimately identify those and then add that IP address back to the blacklist in your Google Ads account. But you don't need to use a third-party software to do that. So, you know, if we come in here to my ads account, uh, what we're going to talk about are smart bidding strategies. And if you've got those set up and you're using them, which is something that you should be doing, I've got some other videos which I'll link to below this video uh, where I talk about the smart bidding strategies and the overall trend of Google Ads kind of reducing the functionality and the ability that you have to target and control things at a keyword level in your account. We've seen this trend go on for you know a few years now that the, the ability to control things is being reduced and clearly what they're trying to do is funnel people into the smart bidding strategies. Uh, and I spend a lot of money on pay-per-click and I've spent a lot of money testing smart bidding strategies and you know testing them against my manual bidding and stuff like that. And they, they do perform awesomely and I'm a huge proponent of it. You can look at some of my other videos, you can look at some other cases case studies and where I show you know the mounts and the tests that I've actually ran to test and narrow this down. And anyways, uh, I spend over six figures a month on smart bidding strategies. And here's where they're at. And this is one campaign. We've got a target CPA. Uh, so they're in the settings at the campaign level. You go to your campaign and then settings. And then you can change the bid strategy, right? So a lot of people, uh, particularly amateurs, are focused on clicks. Um, I really don't know what else is in here at this point. Uh, yeah, I thought there was an maximize clicks. That was, I think, enhanced CPC before. And then manual CPC, right? And those are ones where you're bidding on keywords. Well, if you switch to a smart bidding strategy like maximize conversions um, or target CPA at a low level, or on a high level, target return on ad spend if you're selling a product online, or maximize conversions value, which uh, that would be used if you're optimizing for multiple conversions in one campaign. I don't suggest doing that. I'm very uh, linear, so to say, with my campaigns. One landing page, one pure conversion event, and that's the only conversion event that can happen. But uh, if you had multiple, you could do conversion value. Anyways, any of these smart bidding strategies right here, maximize conversions and conversions value, target return on ad spend, target CPA, these are focused on people that are actually going to convert. Right, So if you're targeting those and you've got a good sample size of conversions in there, well, guess what? Google's going to recognize that those unnatural clicks and the fake clicks, the ones that come to your website every day or um, you know, click on your website every second or whatever the pattern is, um, Google's algorithm, you know, who's built by some of the smartest brains on this planet, is going to detect that and subsequently they're going to show your ads less for those users. Now, I'm not saying that it's going to totally eliminate it, right? It's never going to do that because it's not going to totally block them, but it's certainly going to pick up on the fact that, hey, this user searches for this term a lot. They've been to this website a couple times and they haven't converted. Guess what? Nothing's changed. They're probably not likely to convert. Right, so that's certainly a factor in their algorithm uh, for maximizing whatever event it is that you're optimizing for through a smart bidding strategy. So guys, you know, let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Um, if you're using one of those types of platforms, what do you think about it? How's it working for you? And well, are you gonna switch to a smart bidding strategy if you're using a keyword-based bidding strategy? Let me know in the comments below, guys. That's a wrap on this video. I'm signing off.